Welcome to the Home Design Mentor Channel. I'm California architect Steve Rundell. Residential design fascinates me. On today's show, we'll visit Palm Springs, California, that beautiful desert city in Southern California that's full of mid-century modern architecture. Join me and documentary filmmaker and writer Hope Anderson in this third of five episodes, we'll visit Twin Palms Estates, designed by Crystal and Palmer in the late 1950s for the Alexander Construction Company. The next architect that we want to talk about is William Crystal. And Crystal was a partner with Dan Palmer. In 1958, they were hired by the Alexander Construction Company, the famous Palm Springs Construction Company that built so many of these modern houses at the time. Uh, there, they, they bought a piece of land, a large tract of land in the southern part of Palm Springs, beautiful location with wonderful mountain views, and they decided that they really needed to take advantage of those wonderful views, and they sighted all the houses and designed them with these wonderful clear story windows. You can see the clear story window there above the masonry, the brick in this, the white brick in this particular example that we're looking at. All of these houses had this feature, and when you were when you are inside these houses, and I've been in several of them, the mountain views are spectacular, really wonderful. Um, it was designed to be, you know, a an accessible uh, development. It was not like building the Idris House or the Kaufman House. Uh, these were more moderately priced. I believe they were around eighteen to twenty twenty two thousand dollars. You could get a swimming pool installed with that, I believe, and. Um, What's really interesting here, um, to save money, Crystal said, okay, we'll come up with one floor plan, just one floor plan instead of having several. And uh, But what we'll do is we'll turn them and give them different roof forms. And that's what we want to take a look at next. So they had six different roof configurations that you can see here. On the top two, you have the butterfly shape. In the center two, you have a, a flat roof shape. And then in the lower two, you have a gabled roof form. We're going to take a closer look at that in a minute. But next, I want to show you the floor plan that they used for these houses. This was a three-bedroom, two-bath house. 40 by 40 was the floor plan. 1,600 square feet, quite, quite nice for the time period. And that was a little bit larger than the average house of that time. And a contiguous kitchen, dining, living room, and then a fireplace with this wonderful large glass walls that would face the backyard. And of course, they all came with a swimming pool. And then you had a carport uh, to your right in this configuration. So what's interesting that they did here, oh, and incidentally, between those two bathrooms, you may notice they put it, they installed an atrium. Remember atriums? Of course, almost everyone who has one of these houses has unfortunately filled those atriums in with a closet, but oh well. That was the original design anyway. Some of the ones that have been uh, that have been restored have re uh, have uh, reinstalled that atrium, but let's turn this plan, which is what they did, and you see the entry of the house now is positioned toward the front, and then we take our car our carport and reposition that to the other side of the house, and we have a completely different configuration. And they would shift the carport either forward or backward on this, and that would give them variation along with those roof forms. Brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I love this. This is one of the most coveted uh, developments in Palm Springs. The ones that are on the historical register now are selling for a million and a half at this point. They're very desirable properties right now, which I'm sure they will continue to be. So now we're going to take a closer look at these roof forms. On the top, we have our first butterfly, which was is affectionately known as the long butterfly. You can see that the main body of the house there on the left is covered with a single roof form that slopes down to where you enter this courtyard space where you enter the house. And then you have your carport where the roof then sh shoots up again in the other direction. And that crease occurs right there at the carport in the courtyard. Then on the lower example, what they did is they took the roof, butterfly roof form, and they put a crease there over the center of the main body of the house of the floor plan. And then the carport got a flat roof there off to the left that you can see. This particular house is on the historic register. Here it is. 
Um, it is currently owned by a local real estate agent who has very affectionately taken very good care of this house over the past 10 years. Um, and um, again, wonderful architecture, very different, same floor plan, different house. And here are our flat roof examples. In the upper photo, you can see that the flat roof covers the main body floor plan of the house. And then we have a lower roof form. They're coming off to the right over the carport to uh, de-emphasize the car structure, which is always a good thing to do. And also you'll notice that there's kind of a flap over there at the front part of that uh, roof line. And that flap uh, faced west in this particular house and shielded the clear story windows that are behind it so that you can protect from the sun. They had this device on several of these flat roofed houses. And then on this lower example, you'll see here that they have a uh, more of a trellised type of flap that you see. And this roof form is flat also, but it's a little bit higher over the living kitchen areas. And then it's a little bit lower over the bedrooms and then a little bit lower there to the right over the carport. Now this house has been altered from its original, original condition. They've made that a garage, but you can see the difference in where they have moved the carport further forward than they did on that uh, example in the top photo, you know, another variation. And of course, the last roof configuration that they had is a gable roof form. A gable roof is simply two slopes that come up and meet at a ridge. And in the top example, even more ingenious is this slightly shallower slope on the right with a slightly steeper slope on the left. The bedrooms were there on the right and the living kitchen dining was there on the left. And uh, the ridge line of it runs from front to back and the carport is a little bit forward of the front of the house. But on the bottom photo, what they've done here is they've taken the ridge parallel to the street. You can see that the gable roof form um, is facing the street side. So same floor plan on all six of these houses, slightly different configurations for the porch and the courtyard. And voila, you have an almost entirely custom looking develop development. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'm grateful to have had the chance to share my passion with your listeners. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Follow me on my websites and YouTube channel and social media accounts. Cheers, my friends.